Hey, good afternoon. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. Uh, if this video is helpful, please subscribe, share, click the notifications down below. Send me your nice comments. And if any other person can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the next to them. Be the first to you. All right, so in this situation, we're going by one of my mottos, which is don't just repair it, don't just replace it, repair it. And we're building a newly used, rebuilt 5.7 Hemi out of, I think, a 2008 Dodge Ram. And Jeff's going to walk you through the torque procedure for this engine. Uh, we've already done all the pistons, piston ring, crank bearings, main bearings, all that stuff. We've got a dirty engine, but it's all new on the inside. We've obviously got re rebuilt heads. So this is going to be a brand new truck. Okay, our 5.7 liter, we got our fully refurbished head. Now, right here and right here, our pin, you got two locator pins. Make sure your head gasket surface is nice and clean before you set your head gasket down. Now, these particular fel Felpros, you can't screw them up because they're labeled left and right and the tops are marked. So, when you have to set that, you take your head very carefully, line the holes up, and gently set her down. Just like that. Next, we're, we'll put the bolts in and torque them down. Okay, now that we got your, you got your head in place, Gonna go ahead and take your head bolts and you're gonna put some grease up here grease or oil um i like to use grease um your threads and the area where the washer is you can do that on both your main head your 15 millimeter head bolts and as well as your 10 millimeter head bolts they're uh, your smaller 10 millimeter ones you've got five spots up at the very top of the head you can drop those down in there just like that and you're gonna take your 10, 15 millimeter bolts and you're gonna drop them down in their holes. And I'm sure you can figure out which holes are which. Okay, now you've got your head bolts finger tight. You're gonna start with a pattern of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. You're always gonna work in a crisscross pattern, kind of work, working your way out. This allows so you don't warp your head. <clears throat> your first torque is a three-stage torque. First is you're going to bring everything up to 25 foot-pounds. Then you're going to go back and verify that everything is at 25 foot-pounds. And then you'll step it up to 50 foot-pounds and go around as many times as you need to go until each bolt's at 50 foot-pound. And then you're going to go set it up and go 90 degrees further after that. So we will show you the first one real quick. Now, once I work around, you probably have to go around three, two to three, three passes to get everything where it always consistently at 25 foot-pounds, and you repeat that process for the 50 foot-pound, and then when you're 90, you only do that one time. Man, Jeff, you have a very succulent voice for the TV screen, but definitely not a face for it. Okay, after you do your... 15 millimeter main head bolts, um, so getting them torqued down. You're gonna switch over to your 10 millimeter, and these ones you torque to 15 first, starting in the middle, working your way out to the outside, and then you'll bring it up to 25 foot pound, and your head will be in place. So that's the torque procedure for your 5.7 Hemi. Um, we're gonna go ahead and bolt on our uh, assembly, valve assembly and such, and be installing this thing on Monday. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, we tried to make the videos as short as possible. Give me a subscribe, click the sh notifications button, share my videos, and comment down below. Remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the next to them, be the first to you, and always try to repair it before you're replacing it.